Welcome back to the Air Gun Advisor. And if you are a fan of an accurate air gun, but enjoy that more traditional compact bullpup style with just enough power to go pesting and perfect for plinking in the backyard, then this, the new iteration of the Caliber Gun Cricket 2, might just be your next best air gun. The TAC 45 CRBT has a 14 shot rotary magazine that we're going to talk about a little bit. It's a PCP air gun, nice gauges. Let's take a quick look at this and see what we really got going on. The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Air Force Air Guns, and Rapid Air Works, makers of raw air guns. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. Now this PCP air gun has a beautiful wooden stock, mini adjustable cheek rest, which I absolutely loved, helps to get that eye alignment in perfectly with the scope, as well as a built-in moderator down here, so you're not gonna have to go out and buy your own. Comes out with a 350 cc bottle that you're gonna be able to fill up to 300 bars, so that you're gonna get a ton of shots out of this, and it also has a two-stage adjustable trigger, swappable side lever. We're going to take a look at some of these features in more depth here in a minute, as well as weaver rails. And of course, the 450 millimeter long 12 groove barrel with a 17.7 twist rate that's going to send these 22 caliber pellets right on target. Now, as with most of the line of caliber rifles, this one is also regulated, it has an internal regulator in here, and for conducting my first test revealed that out of this 350cc bottle that the Cricut 2 CRBT in front of me was capable of 98 shots with an average speed of 990 feet per second with a standard deviation of just 10.3 feet per second. That's like 100 shots. I mean, that's almost a whole pin of tell. So you're going to be able to shoot this down at the range or while you're out pesting. Now, unfortunately, the one thing that I will mention that is not my favorite thing, if you've watched my reviews before, you're probably guessing it right now, and that is the fact that we require a fill probe that gets inserted into the side right here. And man, I would just love to see, instead of having a fill probe, let's just put a male quick disconnect there that we can top off with a cap. That way we don't have any chances of losing those fill probes or them getting dirty when we're out in the field. Now, like so many other companies do, this one also has a 20 MOA rail right here for the scope rail, so you can go for those longer shots, as well as a great bipod rail here. And you can feel, just like most Eastern European guns, I mean, the quality and the solid build style of this air gun, you can tell it is just really, really going to last. So let's talk about the magazine system a little bit. It comes with a machined aluminum magazine here that you can see. And of course, that is always good in this day and age. I love to get away from plastic, especially with a tool like this that you're going to be taking out in the field. You don't want all that wear that the plastic pieces can give you. One thing that you will want to note if you've never shot a caliber gun cricket is that the magazine system is a little bit different. So you got the side cocking level lever, which is swappable again, but it has, you can probably see on the back of this, it has like teeth, like a gear. So it is a gear based system. When you cock it, a lever inside moves and cocks or, uh, cocks or twists the magazine one space over to the next pellet. So it does feel a little bit different, but still a great system for you. And of course, this lever here, in case you're wondering, also is part of that. That allows you to adjust it for single shots or multi-shot mag rotary magazine style. And it also allows you to remove the magazine when it's time to fill that magazine right back up. The trigger on this air gun is something that I definitely want to mention. It's definitely more of a hunting style air gun versus that of a competition air gun. And for that style of air gun, this has a superb trigger. I completed, of course, my standard trigger pull test, did five trials, and provided an average pull weight at a very crisp 8.6 ounces. Now, for a hunting gun, I love that. It's 
under the two pound mark, but still light enough. You're not gonna just bump it and it's gonna go off. And of course, if you want it a little heavier or a little lighter, this trigger is adjustable and it is to stage it. So you can set it to exactly your own liking and for your own purposes. One of the unique features that is found not only on this caliber gun Cricut 2, but all of the caliber gun models is its signature load indicator. So I'll spin this around and I'll probably get a close up of it for you. But when you cock this air gun, a little red indicator pops out. And I love that. That's a great safety feature because when you cock it and bring it back, that red indicator remains seen. So you know that the gun is cocked and ready to fire. And of course, you also have, I'm gonna decock it here. You of course have your regular trigger safety down here. And I love the fact that it is anodized red, it pops out and it really, really stands out for those of you who might be considering taking some younger air gunners out for the first time. This has a lot of built-in fa safety features that's gonna allow you to know when the air gun is loaded and ready to shoot. And I think that is a very, very nice touch indeed. So overall, this is a sweet platform, very compact, especially for those of you who like that traditional PCP bullpup style. Maybe those of you who like to go hunting around the farm or even out in the woods because this is short. So nice thing about having a short, compact air gun is the fact that, well, you're not gonna bump the barrel. You're not gonna get a point of impact shift on there when you do, because it's just so small and easy to carry around. Now, without having shot this so far, I'm super, super pleased with all the tests I've done, but really the proof is in the pudding. Let's go outside. Let's take this down to the range and see what this 22 caliber Cricut CRBT can really do. Okay, JTS pellets, 18 grain. Let's find a new target and see what we got. Now, I haven't changed anything with the scope, so zero might be a little bit different with some different pellets, but um, you know, it is what it is. Let's see what we got. So far, not too different. Did you see that? Um, I can't tell from here, but I'm pretty sure that was hole for hole right there. Hole on hole. Let's see if we can keep it going. Woo! There's three. I'm liking that. That's four. Five. <laughs> now, I think it likes the JTS pellets. What do you guys think? Yeah. I got a little breeze now coming from right to left. Yeah, you can see that just went a little bit further to the left, I think, than some of the others. Not bad, though. Man, that's seven. Wow, eight shots. I'm gonna stop there, put this on safe. Let's walk it down there so you can see exactly what we're talking about on this. Let's see, I think I have something here. Ah, oh, here it is couple comments in my video saying hey we don't know how big your thumb is well you know that's a fair statement so got my little uh, group measuring here this is uh, from day state they were kind enough to send me this a while back and it is measuring our groups in millimeters this time so we'll get a good idea of comparing both the JTS as well as the JSB. Both groups were very, very good. Obviously JTS, from what I could see down here, was definitely edging it out just a little bit. 
Let's go ahead and flip this around so you guys can see. All right, here we go. Let's start down here. Here is the uh, JSB. Looks like we got a couple different groups happening here. Not sure what was going on. Looks like 30 millimeters, maybe just outside. We're 44 millimeters probably. And then the JTS. A couple actually hit right outside. I didn't see that, but I call that a 30 millimeter group, eight shots. It'll be interesting to see if those uh, first five all fell in there. I mean, you got that center mass group falling in there around 20 millimeters, so not bad. 20 millimeters, probably about the size of a dime for those of you guys who are uh, taking notes. And maybe these were the last two when that breeze started catching up, but we only know when we get back to the camera and see what we got. But overall, very, very pleased. I hope you enjoyed that review. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth. Those pellets fly straight. Keep having fun, guys. Smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed, well, make sure you do that too. We'll take a look at these next time right here on the Airgun Advisor.